This anime is just like ReZero, apart from not having Emilia, Rem, Subaru, amazing world building, Subaru's powers, or a good story. Actually, it's not even an isekai, I just lied to you, but that really doesn't change much apart from the part where the protagonist gets hit by a truck. Ningen Flushing is the perfect anime to watch with your ex during Valentine's Day because the main characters in this anime trust each other more than your ex trusted you. Ningen Flexing is a fantasy anime about a group of people who got betrayed by their former colleagues, friends or family, or even their own village because they tried to groom an underage girl, anyway more on that later. The first guy whose name I clearly forgot got kicked out by his family because his adoptive father felt pretty cringe about him and then he also got dumped by his girlfriend who was just actually gold digging scam artist. He then got depressed and became a Hatsune Miku fan. Don't ask me why they have a full-fledged idol concert in this world, which is clearly set in medieval fantasy but I'm not complaining. The second person is Karen or Karan, a hot, thick, half-dragon, half-human girl who got betrayed by her former friends so they can steal her belongings. She's clearly the best character in the series thanks to her two amazing personalities. The third person is a mage called Tiana who got dumped by her boyfriend and for some reason the boyfriend was so powerful that he somehow was able to kick Tiana out of her own home or her own family. So hear me out. I have a special place in my heart for girls who wear huge ass hats. But Tiana is such a boring and bland character that she's the worst huge hat character I have seen till date. She doesn't even deserve to tarnish the reputation of huge hat genre of girls like this in my honest opinion. The last person on the primary lineup is a priest. Now when I say priest, he's not just any other priest. Or maybe he is, I don't know. But he was accused of pedophilia. Now according to his story, the little girl loved the priest and tried to seduce him, but he called that BS so the girl accused him of rape. Now I'm not saying he's a pedophile or a rapist, but considering first of all he's a priest, I'm not completely buying his story. By the way, this is just a theory of mine and I'm not really spoiling this and this is just a simulation from my big brain. And I just feel there's something off from this guy. Four of these characters coincidentally meet at a pub and decide to tell each other their life stories over a drink because what else would you do when you're unemployed? These four were unemployed to the point that they couldn't even afford a Hustlers University subscription. Ha ha ha, what a bunch of brokies, right? By the way, what color is your jail cell? Anyway, these people decide to sign up for the stereotypical adventures girl to make some bag. Now because all four of them just got betrayed, they don't trust each other a bit. And that's what this anime is all about. Earning the trust of a random people because they don't have anyone else to trust anymore. They take up these random jobs available on guild so they can at least afford food. They go into dungeons and this group of people have to trust each other and protect them at their positions. And it's the process of trusting each other be that in battle or in maintaining money or sharing their secrets. Most of the anime, while I don't want to spoil what I have watched till now, I can say that it's at least good enough to the point that I'm at least still watching it and waiting for episodes every week so that I can rank them end of the month. It's definitely nowhere near the top of the seasonal rankings, but it's still an anime worth watching especially if you're into isekai or fantasy anime. Thanks for watching this video, I'm working on a video which will take some time and that's the reason upload schedule has been messed up but thanks for sticking around and I will see you pretty soon. Sorry for the short video and see ya.